Hello boys and girls, I just wanted to come on and uh, review some math with you today. Uh, first we'll start with money. Do you remember what this is? What coin it is and how much it is? You said a penny and one cent, you were right. What about this one? How much is that? If you said five cents and a nickel, you are right. What about this one? How much is this and what is it called? You said 10 cents and a dime, you are correct. All right, what about this one, one of the bigger ones? This is a quarter, 25 cents. And then our biggest coin that we have is what? What's that called? It is a half dollar and it's worth 50 cents. All right, if, if I have these two, how much do I have, do you remember? 25 plus 25 is 50. Oh, what about this one? If I had three of them, remember our song? 25 plus 25 is 50 plus another 25 is 75. Good job, I know you remember that song. All right, let's go over our clocks. Remember our little hand is the hour and our big hand is the minutes do you remember what time this says little hand is the hour three it's on the 12 so it's o'clock three o'clock what about this one the little hand is on the six and the big hand is on the 12 so it is six o'clock let's do one more real quick what about this one Nine, because it's a little hand. Let's count these. Five, 10, 15, 20. So it is 9, 20. Remember to continue to work on your clocks and you can get better at these, especially with the coins as well. Um, today I want to also go over somewhat of a new concept with you, uh, fractions. Now fractions is when, remember we had pieces of pie or pieces of uh, pizza and we halved it out with everybody or we gave some to some people if Miss Hall had a pie all to herself I get the whole pie that is one right I don't have to share it with anybody I get the whole pie if I wanted to share it with Max a piece of pie because he's like "Ooh, mama that looks good I would give him a half of the pie and me I would keep my half of the pie so I cut it right down the middle He'd get the white, I would get the blue. So one half, I cut it right down the middle. One over two is one half. So Mr. Hall comes in the house and he goes, man, that cake looks good, can I have a piece too? And so, okay, Miss Hall cuts him one piece. Here's Max's piece, here's my piece. So it's one third, one over three. He gets one piece. He doesn't get the whole thing, he just gets one piece. That's Max's piece and my piece. And Max has a friend named Molly. She comes home. She sometimes comes and visits. When she comes and visits, she goes, Ooh, I really would like a piece of pie too. So I have to cut her a piece of pie. I give her the blue one. And so Molly gets one fourth of the pie. Molly's piece, Mr. Hall's piece, Max's piece, and my piece. I cut it into one fourth. So one fourth is Molly's piece. How much does Miss Hall get? She gets one fourth. How much does Mr. Hall get? He gets one fourth. How much does Max get? He gets one fourth too. Each of us get one fourth. All right, on your homework paper, it's going to ask you some questions about greater than or less than. Remember we had those numbers with the alligator and the alligator come, eats a part of the pie? or whichever one's the biggest, right? He eats the big one. So, if I had one half and one third, which one would big, be the biggest piece? Where would the alligator eat? Would he eat this side or would he eat this side? Let's see. One half or one third? Which one would be the most amount of pie I could get? It would be the one half, right? because there's more that he would be able to eat than this, right? Than the one third. 
what about, what if I had one third and one fourth? Who would get the most pie? Would it be over here or would it be over here? Let's see. Who would get the most amount of pie? The answer would be one third. This would be the smallest amount of pie. I wouldn't want to get this piece of pie because it's not a lot, right? This one's more than this one. So, on your paper, it's going to ask you the greatest, the one that goes in between, and the one that's the, the smallest. So, or the least. Which one would be the biggest? The biggest one that Miss Hall would want to get would be the one half, right? Because that's the biggest. The one that would go in the between is one third. And the one that would be the least would be the one fourth. I think we would all want the one half compared to the other two, right? Do you see how that one third, one third is the one that goes in the middle? Because it's a little bit bigger than this one, but not much, right? So this would be the greatest. This would go in the middle between, and this would be the least or the smallest, right? So on your paper, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna say, which one's the smallest? And you're gonna say, what? This one's the smallest. Which one would be the one in the middle? You would go, this one would be the one in the middle. And the biggest one of all would be one half. All right, boys and girls, I hope you under, I hope this helps understand fractions a little bit better. If you have any questions about your homework, please let me know. And I want you to remember that Miss Hall loves you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.